We've just arrived here in Reading, and as you can see right behind me here, this is like a derelict building. What it is, is an ex-shopping centre, and this is the home of the Wasteland Experience. Now, if you imagine a post-apocalypse Britain, everything is gone, and it's just survivors fighting for their life. It's an interactive experience, and I'm here, and I'm to experience this for the first time. I'm told it's absolutely terrifying. With the cities of the UK obliterated by nuclear explosions, the world as we know it ended. Six years later, the last few survivors either banded together to form tribes in order to survive, or went totally insane. Conflict and horror are a way of life. The Wasteland Experience was put together by using years of running scare attractions and working with film and TV production crews. The world that you enter was created by the likes of Mark Cordery Creations from Dust Monkey, who are amongst the world's premier post-apocalypse costume makers, and the Oscar-winning Coolia Creators. Everything you will experience will be utterly insane and very real. So it just finished. I'm very, very sweaty, I've got to say, but it was fantastic. I'm like this now, I need a vodka. <sighs> So, um, yeah, I've lost about a stone in water. And I didn't half scream at some points. After the event, there's time to have photographs with the lead characters. Even this close, they're pretty scary. As the photo shoot commences, this is a great opportunity to catch up with your fellow teammates and the actors as well. What gave you the inspiration to come up with this? Basically, we, we, I got this centre um, back in 2009. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to set up as a, a war games site, but something that was quite a bit different that would enable me to do different theatrical things. Um, originally, back in 1992, um, I was involved in the very first proper interactive scare me in the, in the world okay. at that time, it's called Alien War. So I started off with all that and then from that, that was my first job when I left school, I to film TV special effects, makeup, props, armoury, weapons and so on. And during that whole time I was playing airsoft and running airsoft games, kind of like paintball oh, time BBs. So I wanted to get my own site and then I, I came across this place. Um, so, I mean, very shortly, as soon as I got this place, it's an empty shopping mall uh, and I'm a huge zombie fan. So okay. we started the very first full immersion movie-like experience um, based on zombies. So this was the original zombie shopping mall experience, which launched just over six years ago. So I'm with Holly, who's one of the lead presenter slash actors. How do you create that element of suspense as a presenter? It's, you get your group and you have to work out straight away who is willing to do the things that you're asking and who is a bit reserved. And it's just, you take those people who are reserved and you make them do it. And you force them to do it so they're terrified. If they're terrified, if you're terrified, everyone is going to be terrified. And it's just making other people get into that mindset to make sure that everyone is in the same place so we can move forward and it's just... I, I was absolutely terrified. You kept pushing me into the room first. And oh I was my like, God, I don't want to come so in funny. first. That was the face you gave me. Every time I asked you to do something, you were like... <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. When you get groups who maybe haven't done anything like this before, who don't really know what to expect, it's really difficult to get them into the mindset that this is an entire world. We've created this world. And if you're coming into it, everything you interact with is part of the world. So you'll have someone who maybe is just a dead body on the floor and you'll see them and they'll laugh. And as a character, you then have to go, why are you laughing? That, that, that is a, a dead body on the floor and it's really difficult to judge how far you go with it. If you can just accept they're not really into it, you know, we'll do what we can. Or if you do push it and you go, no, no, this is it. I think I, sh I shouted at you a lot. You shouted at me today. an awful lot. I was like sworn at as well. From what you told me, you, you played various different characters. Yes. So in our zombie event, uh, we had the military characters who would lead you around. But then we also had our evil scientist, who honestly was one of the 
best roles that I think I've ever had because you were just you had this air of superiority and you you also had an intellect so people really looked up to you but then you really screwed them over and oh it was just you know when you just have one of those characters in your mind and you think you're the worst you're absolutely the worst but you are the best of them oh just such a good role quite a varied crowd didn't you yeah absolutely there's so many people who come because it's just something different to do it's not your standard group activity it's not going bowling it's it's an experience and those people who don't really know what it is are so intrigued that they're like, oh yeah, we'll just book on. And it's the people who don't know what they expect that I think are probably the best customers because they're just, the look on their face of just wonderment as they're entered into this world. Absolutely. It's just, it just warms your heart as you're going around. It's really difficult to stay in character when you see someone really enjoying themselves and you have to go, hmm, hmm, <laughs> instead of joining in with them and being really excited. And Does anybody really make you laugh and you have to turn away and just sort of go, <clears throat> oh, right, okay, let's just carry on. Oh my God, so many times. <laughs> it's the people who scream the loudest and you have to be behind them and you have to scream as well because it's scary, but really, you just want to laugh. You just want to absolutely laugh and run away. I think within five minutes of starting this today, that when the explosion went into that room <laughs> and we'd just been introduced to you as a character, I screamed like there was no tomorrow and the glares I got from everybody is like I could have had the ground open up and swallow me up. Do you remember that bit? I do, yes. I think you were going off with somebody else. I was like, no, why me? Why me? Honestly, it's so difficult to keep a straight face. <laughs> Okay, finally, how can people find out more about this Wasteland experience? We have our website, www.zevents.co.uk. We also have our Facebook page, which is The Wasteland Z Events. And we have our Instagram, which is Z Events Limited. Fantastic. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen as well. Thanks for watching. <laughs>